I have two nearly identical stones in my hand. One is a real diamond worth about $400, and the other is a piece of cubic zirconia worth about $5. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to tell them apart using science and sunglasses. Before we get started, I'm a geologist and I like a shiny rock as much as anybody else, but still they aren't worth people dying for. If you're looking to buy a diamond, I humbly ask that you consider an alternative, or at least look for an ethically sourced stone. Thank you, and back to the video. To pull this off, you need to get some of the fancy anti-glare sunglasses. These work for anti-glare because of an optical effect called polarization. When light passes through the polarizing filter, like these sunglasses, only waves of light in a certain orientation can pass through. Adding a second filter with a different orientation blocks almost all the light. This is called cross-polarization. I could only find one pair of polarized sunglasses, so I'm using this plastic polarizing filter as a substitute. Here I have that filter in front of the camera, and you can see that when I turn the sunglasses, there are some orientations where almost no light can get into the camera. When we put our crystals between the filters, something surprising happens. The effect is easy to see in real life but hard to film, so I'm using a microscope to show it more clearly. When I cross the polarizers, one crystal goes dark, while the other lights up with the colors of the rainbow. What's going on here? Why do we see different colors when there should be no light at all? The answer comes from a material property called birefringence. Light travels through a single crystal at different speeds depending on the orientation of the crystal lattice. When we shine light through these crystals, the waves split into individual components at different speeds. These components interfere with each other, creating brilliant colors and rotating the light, which can then pass through the second filter. So, which one is the real diamond? Diamonds have an extremely symmetrical structure meaning that light travels at the same speed through every orientation. That means no interference colors and no rotation. Cubic zirconia, on the other hand, is slightly birefringent because of stabilizing minerals used in its production. Under cross-polarizers, diamonds never change color, while cubic zirconia lights up with birefringence colors. Now, I didn't invent this technique. Measuring optical rotation is useful in a variety of fields. It's used very commonly in geology, for example, to get a closer look at some rocks. So here's a sample of granite that's been sliced very thin and glued to a glass slide. And I've set up the microscope so I can spin one filter on the bottom while the slide and a second filter on the top stay still. That way I can spin the bottom filter and the results are these beautiful and useful images of birefringence in the different minerals that make up the granite. Birefringence is also used to see stress in clear plastics and it's the mechanism in LCD screens. Now you can also use it to spot a real diamond. Thank you all for watching, I'll see you next time, and until then, keep on enjoying shiny rocks.